known these guys for many years. They're dear friends of mine. And as I said, Brett and Pete worked with uh, worked with me and Greg's band. So uh, it's a real uh, it's a real bittersweet honor to be here tonight. And uh, you know, this is the this year is the first time I've ever been nominated for a Grammy as a songwriter. So it's quite an honor. Uh, you know, the song the song that Greg and I wrote it took it took a couple years to. Uh, to get it finished, you know, Greg hadn't written a lot of original music uh, in this uh, in this last stage of his life, and uh, we were working on a few songs. We finished one song, uh, which I have some plans for, and uh, we had finished that. And then he was asking me, uh, "We got to find something else." And uh, I was at his house, and one morning I woke up. You know how you have those dreams where it's like a movie you've seen, and it was like a scene from a movie. And when I woke up, it was it was Dwayne talking to Greg, and it was the first two lines and the hook to this song. I swear to God, it's, it was one of the freakiest moments of my life. When I wrote the words down, and I looked at those words, and I said, you know, we've been up late talking on the bus for years, so all this shit was rolling around in my head, man. I was marinated in their road stories and the love between them. And I think somehow, psychologically, I tapped into it uh, by luck. And when I showed it to him when he woke up many hours later, because this was early in the morning, we got this together. He came downstairs and I played him, I sang him, you know, the first part of the song and, and I had the hook, but I couldn't get there. He heard it and he said, this is the song, right away. And I never seen him say that about anything, so I feel real lucky for that. We continued to work on the song and several months later he, you know, divulged this information to me for the first time that he was, he was going to die. And we were at a hotel in New York, he was playing at the Beacon, and I said, you know, I, I, maybe I should just split, you know, I said, Greg, you know, this is really, this is a heavy day, do you want to hang out, do you want your time? He said, no, we're going to work on this song, and that was the day when he reached across the table and wrote the words, I hope you're haunted by the music of my soul when I'm gone. And I'll never forget that moment for the rest of my life when he wrote that word, those words down at this point. And I said, alright, now I know what this song is. So uh, we're going to do our best to play it for you now, um, you know, and I'll, I'll, I'll stop yapping. I tell you, you guys are in for a treat tonight, man. We've been here working all day, and this is, this, this is the only place to be right now. Anyway, this is going to be one hell of a show. I'm so honored to be here with all of you, so thank you all for coming.